Today we celebrate the return of Tin Caps Baseball and coincidentally May 4th falls on a very special anniversary for America's pastime here in 21 Country. 150 years ago, the Summit City witnessed baseball history here alongside the St. Mary's River. A monument marks the site at Camp Allen Park. You could argue that Fort Wayne was part of the first professional sports league in America, which is kind of cool. Journalist Blake Sebring has literally written the book on sports history in 21 Country. The Kikiungas were a club team in Fort Wayne, and they had a, a little bit of a reputation around the Midwest as being a good team. In 1871, the team planned to take part in the National Association of Professional Baseball Players, with the debut season scheduled to begin in Ohio, but Mother Nature had other plans. The first game was originally supposed to be in Cincinnati, like it is traditionally nowadays, but the game got rained out. And the next game on the schedule happened to be the Cleveland Forest Cities, at Fort Wayne later that afternoon, and that, that became the first professional league sports game. Rain also cut the Kikiangas game short, but not before they claimed victory thanks to the help of an innovative pitcher. Bobby Matthews, who a lot of people believe, or it was reported at the time, invented the curveball. So he was the pitcher that day for the Kikiangas, and he got the two to nothing shutout. Unfortunately, the team's run didn't last long, but Fort Wayne continues to churn out talent today just as it did over a century ago. The success of those athletes inspires the next generation all the time, and, and it, they've proven that it can be done, and it encourages kids to dream that, you know, maybe I can make that and do that too. Now, historians were able to determine the location of that famous game because it was the only park in Fort Wayne consistent with the reports that players were hitting home runs into the St. Mary's River. And Rachel, I think anytime you're talking about something sports related that happened 150 years ago, that's got to be just the coolest thing. Cool, so it was cool then, and it's cool now, now that these players today are hitting the field here at Parkview Field. And I know this place has made a huge impact as well as the other field too. And Blake's basically a walking encyclopedia <laughs> at this point for sports knowledge that even is tangentially re related to Fort Wayne. So Blake, thank you for that. And this will wrap up our coverage for now here at Parkview Field, but the Back to Baseball special will continue in our 6 p.m. newscast. For now, we'll send it into the break. We'll be right back. <laughs>